not so great, but I don't know. They're trying. Throughout the United States' history, and especially its legislative history, I think you've had disagreement and even fistfights or caning on the, on, in the Capitol. So is it really as bad as many people say? I don't know, but it, it, it's certainly not ideal. I think that we have wealthy white southern men telling us what we can and can't do with our bodies, and I don't like that at all. I have a lot of hope for what our country, like our government can do, but I'm not exactly very optimistic that they do what they can, like what they have the potential to do, so it leaves me disappointed a lot of the times. I feel like the tendency for just human beings in general to do is to think things are worse now than they were 20, 30, 50 years ago. When you look to the number of market monuments we have versus the number of presidents that we've had, we have Lincoln, Washington, um, FDR, we have Jefferson. Um, so we have like four main monuments, we have like the four monuments. In the world. And we're on 44 presidents now. Um, so I think it's easy to become cynical and think where the country is now versus where these great men were and what they've done over their, their, over their lifetimes and their presidencies and what they've done with their terms of office. Um, I think it's easy to become cynical with that and like honestly I, I am to an extent. Um, but then I also try and keep things in perspective. One out of every 11, 11 presidents that we've had has a monument. There's only so much that so many people can do. I don't actually see a correlation between the monuments and the government. I think the monuments are beautiful and represent like America that maybe once was, but it doesn't have much symbolism now. So when I look at the monuments, I think that there's they're a goal to aspire to. But just like every one of our legislators or our presidents today, that each of these men had internal issues that they struggled with and problems during their respective administrations. So I, I think it's something to aspire to, but you also have to think about the fact that not everyone that's has a memorial or monument is perfect as well. Like when I go to the monuments, I don't really think about like the government. Like that's like kind of a weird thing to say. And I'm just like, oh, this is really pretty, or this is really large and cool. So I've always related the monuments with kind of yeah a sense of hope and like power, and it's a showing of our strength as opposed to our weakness. I think. It says a lot about us that we have monuments for all the wars, regardless of if we won or lost them. I think we just like to commemorate where our country's been and where we're going. And so I think kind of reflecting on our history helps us a lot to go forward in a stronger and better life. Oh yeah, I think that's definitely a reminder of the principles that our nation is founded on. I guess that like idea has kind of become a cliche, but I feel like that really um, is embodied with the monuments. Um, I think, you know, uh, when you see the Washington and the Lincoln Memorials, um, a lot of the times I, I know I don't think about how uh, critical people were in 1861 of President Lincoln. Um, probably, like, very similar criticisms um, to many of the recent presidents. Um, but history has shown that um, the governments in that time made a lot of good choices. So I think the monuments are definitely inspiring and reassuring. Quite honestly, I don't think that anyone, I think there's a lack of mall space, but if I had to pick one, I would say LBJ. I think that Eisenhower, actually. Obama. <laughs> I think Obama deserves a monument. President Obama uh, might get a monument. Um, simply because, um, as he's an African-American, it's kind of shown how far our country has come. Um, 
in terms of civil rights and um, making every man equal under the law, um, to have an African American president is um, quite an unbelievable step when you look at what was going on 50 years ago. LBJ, um, I think he's been honored in a number of different ways, but I think that the work that he did with civil rights, while it was a continuation of many Kennedy year policies, I think it will be looked upon as one of the greater achievements in the United States history. Eisenhower actually should have his own monument. Um, I think he's vastly underrated for the difficulty he had to go through with Vietnam. And I mean, we've talked, we have a lot about Vietnam and we talk about that and there's this wonderful memorial for that. And I don't think he gets as much recognition for the amount of stress and dedication he put into our country during that time. I think he deserves a little bit more recognition.